Question 55 is your classic revenue problem. So revenue problems always work in the same way. Revenue equals the price you charge by the number of items sold. So hopefully you've done this kind of problem in school. It should look fairly familiar to you. So this question will always be set up in pretty much the same way. They give you an initial situation, which is that we charge $22 and that when we do that, we sell 40 caps. Then they give you a change in the situation. So if we, if we decrease the price by $1, that gives us an increase in sales of four. So that's how that equation fits together. Now, X is not, um, it's not the number of items sold, it's not the price, it isn't anything like that. It's the number of increments by which we should make this change. So I'll come back to that in a minute. Just the thing to remember is that when you're solving for X, that's not actually going to be your answer here because the question is always how many things do we sell to maximize profit or what is the maximum profit or what should the price be? One of the two, one, sorry, one of the three. X doesn't actually give you any of those things. So revenue is always something we want to maximize. Obviously we want to make the most money possible. So what we need to do is find the vertex of this quadratic equation. Now there's two ways to do that. We could expand and vertex form. Um, I'm not gonna do that because there's a quicker way. Or we could take the fact that the vertex is halfway between the roots. Because we've already got the roots, this is going to be the quickest way to do it. So let's look at where the roots are. So I'm going to try and draw a little sketch of this quadratic. OK, so one of the roots is at 22. And the other root is at 40 plus 4x equals 0. That's where x is negative 40 over 4 is negative 10. OK, so that's about here. OK, so the vertex is somewhere over here. It's in the middle. Now, if the vertex is halfway between the roots, 22 minus minus 10 over 2 gives us 16. So the vertex, so that, that total distance there between the two roots is 32. Half of that distance is 16. So the vertex is at 22 minus 16, which is 6. So what that's telling us, uh, okay, that's not a very good quadratic. That's where the vertex is there. So x is 6 is our key value that we need to use. Um, now the question is asking us for the revenue when x is 6. So we just plug that into the equation. 22 minus 6 times 40 plus 4 6s. So that's 16. Um, that is 4 6s are 24 plus 40 is 64. So 16 times 64, I'm just going to grab my calculator, is 1024 which is answer E.